Hello, everybody. If you're definitely a Whovian like I am, that means you're a fan of Doctor Who. You will definitely enjoy tonight's episode for Season 2. Now, I've met a lot of people that are way more knowledgeable about this subject than I have. Believe than I am. Believe me, I have. But, I consider myself a big fan, too. And some of the things I may... I may reveal, may actually blow your minds. Now, okay, the first thing. When I say there's 14 doctors, if you're good like I am, the immediate, you'll immediately think William Hartnell, Patrick Troughton, Don, John Pertwee, Tom Baker, Peter Davison, Colin Baker, Sylvester McCoy, Paul McCann, Christopher Eccleston, David Tennant, Matt Smith, Peter Capaldi. Nope. Well, and, another thing, if I say Doctor Who movie, yes, Paul McCann, the 8th Doctor, was so lucky, he only got a movie, not a series, not a season, so unlucky, and yes, I said lucky and unlucky, I was being sarcastic, he only got a movie, that's, that's unfortunate. BBC, British Broadcasting Channels, um, so they were running out of, mo uh, out of money in 1996, and their ratings were going down, so... They took a break from then until 2005 when it was brought back with the ninth Doctor being Christopher Eccleston. The mystery remains, though, we've never seen the 8th Doctor's regeneration. So we don't know how that happened, and we still probably never will. But if you work for the BBC company, like, if you're Stephen Moffat right now and you're laughing at me, that is not good. Like, I can't let myself be trolled by Stephen Moffat. That is just unacceptable. But, anyway, back to subject. Some of you may or may not know the War Doctor. So, you've all heard about the war between the Daleks, the Cybermen, and the humans. And, you know, there was a, a mystical in reincarnation of the Doctor that we don't know what order it was in. All we know is that... Well, we do know that it was before 9 and after 8. But we don't know that much about him. Supposedly, he was portrayed by John Hurt in something. I don't exactly remember. Um, but what many of you not realize is that was an, there was another one. There was a movie in 66 called Doctor Who and the Daleks. And Doctor Who and the Daleks was a not very popular... It wasn't a very popular movie, the film. It wasn't very popular, but this is what it was. The Doctor there, 1966, so he was probably played before Patrick Troughton. He was played by Peter Cushing. And if we look up Peter Cushing, here he is right there. So, this means, this film adaption... 1966, oh, 1965, really, so he was definitely before Patrick Troughton, so this means there were 14 doctors, I didn't know this myself, well, the, the lid just popped off the TARDIS and everything inside now feels really small, I hope that can enlighten you, second thing you may not realize, So if you know who the Daleks are, they are, they want to take over the world, basically. They want to take over the world. They are not technically robots, they are now, but they used to be cyborgs, Khaled mutants, which are aliens, green slimy weird alien things. The first one ever to look inside of a Dalek was Ian Chesterton. He was an early companion in the f first season, not series. Well, they have lasers, and they want you. They are angry, and they go inside holes every day. Yours. That's right. Your toilets. If you look at... If you look at a Dalek from this angle... You will know that they're in your hole every day. Your toilet hole. Your toilet bowl. What is that to you? Does that look like a plunger? Well, it should. Their first appearance, when they when the plunger was pointed up at Barbara. 
right? Well, she screamed, and just because of a plunger. This plunger was horrifying. And an egg beater, it looks like. The heck kind of thing is that? I mean, like, are they supposed to be scary or cooking us breakfast here? Well, they're cross between both. They're not exactly, like, they're just weird. The third thing you may not realize is that the master regenerates. You never, you never typically think about that. Excuse me for that little, <clears throat> little voice noise. That was a little weird. The master actually regenerates. The master was another escaped. Uh, he was on Gallifrey, and just like how the doctor escaped, he did too. Another Time Lord, who looks. Like this now, apparently, he looks kind of odd. But he has had many forms. He has had many forms. And does he also have a sonic screwdriver? Maybe, maybe not. Sonic screwdriver, you say? What's that? Well, it's not at all the same thing as what you're expecting. No, it is not a... Don't ask the retarded question, is it a thing... Is it, is it the tool, the power tool? It can lift things as long as it can aid. It's basically like a lever, but magical. This thing can help you lift. Now, it will still hurt. The pressure will still hurt, but you'll have buzzing noises. You'll have list, lifting, and you can scan things. You can't trigger explosions, but that would be awesome if you could. Now the first time a sonic screwdriver was ever used was during the era of Patrick Troughton. You may think that it started out with you may think it started out with John Pertwee back when it was in color, right? You are wrong. It was a light, and it looked like this. The first sonic screwdriver from Patrick Troughton's era, 1966 to 1969. He used a little light.